What's up everybody? My name's Shan, so today we're gonna be diving into turn three lethal. I don't know why turn three phenomenon, phenomenon, <laughs> have been my go-to forte here recently. You know, turn three, uh, great hinge, blah, 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 blah. But I'm enjoying it, so, you know, why stop now? This turn three lethal, we, we actually have quite a few routes to it. I say quite a few because generally if, you, if you're dealing with turn three lethal, it's like some convoluted this or that sort of thing which I, I don't actually think this is too convoluted for us to get to that turn three lethal and even without turn three lethal turn four lethal is uh is very very real with this deck so diving into it uh the, the combo first right because that's that's where everybody clicked on the title in the video let's not kid ourselves you drop staunch shield mate turn one you drop magda turn two and uh, obviously this makes your staunch go up to two power you swing in because of magda you're going to gain an additional treasure token you're also dealing two damage with staunch remember that two damage uh you know anyways on to turn three drop a land you have three mana thanks to the three lands and you have fourth right you have that fourth mana coming from the treasure token so you drop a Winota, Winota turn three, you have Magda and Staunch, you swing in with both, two things that are proccing Winota. Also, you're dealing four damage with these two right here. Now you have a couple different options on what you can end up grabbing or what can you know be played in order to get you to that turn three lethal. The uh, the cards are Blade of Saurian, Kenrith, right? Because Blade of Saurian will give all attacking creatures double strike, which turns this four damage into eight damage. Turns this 5 damage into 10 damage, which, well, that's 18 damage. Plus, you'll remember that 2 from the staunch earlier. It's 20 whole damage. D damage. Anyways, you can grab Bladesaurian Hakdos. Same reasoning, a little bit stronger. Uh, you can grab Arnie Hakdos, because Hakdos will come down and be 6 power, and then you play the Arnie, which is 3 power, but... You're now swinging with Magda and Staunch, so you get two extra mana left over, right? With that two mana, you can spend the one. Arnie gets base power and toughness? Base power and toughness? Or is it just power? Base power of greatest creature, which is Hakdos. Six power, right? Plus one, so it goes up to seven power. So you have 13 damage here. You have four damage here, which is 17 damage. Right? I got to be miscalculating that. 7, 6, 13, 4, 17, plus 2 is only 19. Maybe that's not turn 3 lethal. But it's turn 3, 19 damage. I mean, I guess you could have a Rimrock in hand and spend the other 1 mana on that. So yeah, you could still have turn 3 lethal. Even with that, you just have to also have Rimrock. But still, 19 damage turn 3. Come on. Come on. Come on. Close enough. Um... No, I felt like there was one more where it was like, yeah, you can also grab Blade Historian and X. Oh, Blade Historian plus m most other creatures and then just having Rimrock, right? Because Rimrock adds two additional power. And again, you really only need five power. So, you know, Annex, Bone Crusher, what, anything that's going to be attacking that you can add power to with uh, Blade Historian. And then, of course, you'll have the two extra mana thanks to Staunch and Magda. So you could also technically, theoretically, drop Embercleave on that same turn. On that same turn three, you could end up dropping Winota plus Embercleave, which it opens a whole new world of possibilities for, for lethality. <laughs> Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to call it on this deck tech breakdown because, well, it's all fairly simple and straightforward. You play down what creatures you do have. You swing in as hard as you can, turn them sideways, and, you, and you, you just pretty much laugh because, again, you're going for lethal as quickly uh, and as ferociously as possible. Now, we do still have things to deal with the opponent stuff. A couple copies of Skyclave, a couple copies of Bone Crusher. You got a couple copies of Seasoned because they're really hard to take out. Great creature to throw an Ember Cleave onto, right? Uh, also a great creature if you can use Rimrock Knight, that kind of stuff. A couple copies of Selfless to try to keep your Winota alive. But ultimately, it's just a bash, beat down, get in their face, show them what's up, and take them downtown kind of deck. And I think we can all respect, understand how to play those, and well, you don't need me talking your ear off. But you now know how to do turn three lethal. There's a slew, a plethora of ways to do it, and uh, I encourage you to get out there and go try it.
Anyways, without further ado, leave a like down below, comment on what your favorite part of this deck is, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more awesome content from yours truly. Now, without further ado, how many times have I said that? Turn three lethal. Let's go try it. TSR gonna be our first foe. You know, I don't see the line to uh, to turn three lethal, and the opponent gets to go first. But I'll keep. This is it's a solid lay of the lands. Sure. I <laughs> uh, would like to see some of our in between stuff. Obviously, only having the four mana stuff is not particular particularly English. <laughs> what we want but uh, hey there's a magda so I'll, I'll shut the heck up man suppose we could have swung in with usher tried to get a 1-1 one -one off for the free ski for oh, the free ski there goes their magda and then jasper to tap magda to gain the mana no what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing I'm just gonna grab red mana with the fabled, so you know the back of the fourthness. So we swing with Usher. I don't swing with Magna, right? Right, right. There we go. Get a little one-one for the Fisky. Two damage. And next turn, it'll be turn four. We'll have one, two, three creatures, potentially, that can proc the Winota. Oh, there goes the Magda drop. No Bone Crusher, though. Let's go. Of course, if they did have a Bone Crusher, we probably would have seen it sooner than uh, than then, right? Gold Span. Not a fan of the Gold Span. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Maybe. All right. No. Yeah, sure. Sure. The worst part about the gold span, obviously, is the fact that now the treasures tap for two mana instead of one. So if they tap the Magda, they can have up to five fucking mana, which is insane. Because they just dropped a four mana creature. The fact that an aggro deck is allowed to do this. <laughs> right? right? Oh, 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 that was your turn four? You mean on turn four, you're able to get down a five mana dragon as well as a nine mana great hinge and use, a, you know, the one mana side of, of Love Shrug? Oh, shit, no problem. No, no. <laughs> why, why would, why, why would that ever be a problem in magic? You know what I mean? Oh, so what? You, you created a more value than what is possible by like turn seven generally. Whatever. Whatever. <sighs> it's fine. I guess. You're just gonna force me to have to pull out everything, huh? So they're stopping the big Kenny G. We can put a plus one, plus one counter. I think that's a little bit better. Or we can make all creatures gain trample. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Yeah, there you go. Next, done, bam, 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 and time for the second round. Next, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> uh, oh, y'all thought we were gonna lose just because I was complaining. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Anyways, I'm alrighty. Seeing a Magda makes me not Magda. Maybe not mad. Anyways, Bawa, Barone, Bawa, Bawa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just looks more like a sound effect that you would see in a comic rather than the start of someone's name, right? Somebody just got hit in an old Batman comic. Bwah! <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll lead off with a mountain, because why not? I think a mountain might instill more fear than a plane's turn one. If it, it, I'll put it this way. If I, was, if I was them and my opponent played the plane's turn one, I'd be like, okay, sure. If they played a mountain, I'd be like, no, oh, please don't. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the way. I like it. You know, I think whatever I play here gets removed. 
I'm gonna be honest with you, I think they're playing rogues. And, uh, y'all smell that in the air? It's the smell of removal. And it's fresh. Oh, no, that's a soaring. I'm sorry. The old sniffer might be, might be a little off this morning. Yeah, I thought... Oh, no. It was... <laughs> it was correct. It was right on the money. Ooh. I don't mind if I do a little Skyclave apparition -a. That's not how that's said. Just... I feel like newer players to Magic, I am a terrible example of how to actually pronounce the names of cards. Just so we're all clear. If you're like brand new and you're like, hey, I wonder how do I say this? Let me see how Chance does it. <laughs> I'll do it how Chance does it. Nine times out of ten, don't do not do it how I do it. Now, they're leaving three mana back. Yeah, making me a little worried. How much? How many? We have four? That's so unfair. That's so unfair. I'm about to cast my Winota, and they're just going to say, how about Wino <laughs> to... Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, well, no, two. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <sighs> it just let me down easy. All right, just, just whisper it in my ear if you're not gonna. Okay, that was not a whisper. <laughs> Get them. It's okay. I have a backup plan. It's called one well, no to number two. <laughs> not that you're, you know, any less than the first one. You know, if anything, hell, I, I, maybe you're a little bit better. Save the best for last, you know, that whole ordeal. That's a little uh, questionable. You have a Triome. It's one of your only two cards in hand. And you only have two Wind Robbers on the board. Like, don't you think you cycle that card at instant speed? I, I would I would think you, you cycle that card at instant speed. But, you know, what, what the hell do I know? Arnie. We grabbed the Arnie because we have the Hactos. So we get down to Hactos, we got a bigger Arnie. Now, obviously, our mana's not quite there yet. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Let's hope. Okay. All right. No need to hope. We'll just, <laughs> uh, easy. Easy peasy. Zimo 97. And I can't keep this hand. How come the first time I get to go first, I can't, I can't keep the hand? Ew, this is <laughs> all right. What? Well, I'll keep it. We'll have one Kenny G in the deck. Sure, it's on the bottom, but yeah, no. Uh, shuffle and whatnot. Shuffleboard. We'll get down some red. We'll get down probably some white man on this next turn. I have faith we'll find some more red mana before Annex becomes uh, a priority. And then just, yeah, drop that rim rock. Drop it like it's hot. Man, the this style of art that they did for the Throne of Eldraine, I, I really do enjoy it. It, it seems... Uh, although, what's up with these crystals? That that was like... That's a Coria. That's funny. I mean, I get it because he's a miner. Anyways, uh, back, uh, yeah, back, back to what I was doing. Red mana. <laughs> Y'all know me. I, I can get to talking about the most random of things. Although I will say, like, the, the beautiful things with the, with the magic cards is the, the amount of story and depth within each and every single card. You know, because each and every single card has its own, like, artist. And so that artist really got to take the time and flesh out the whole scene. And, well, it's very apparent that, like, every every card has its story and that's come on magic what are you doing to me i just need a land a little bitty land little itty bitty <laughs> zemo baby hey come on <laughs> what's a little obnoxious annex you're gonna do to you know come on you got a little little freer toss out thy counter spell Oh, uh, I was about to go into pirate talk, but I figured that might make some people really mad if I just start meshing up <laughs> bits of languages. <sighs> I wonder where that hallway goes. 
You know, I got a staircase on my side. I wonder where this hallway goes. I'm sure this stairway goes like down into the rest of the, the college or is it a college? Strixhaven? Is it a college or is it a school? I don't know. Hey now, that's a Magna. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, it, it pseudo adds me a land and you know after that land we're just living la vida large. Living La Vida El Hugo because we'll have Winota. Winota? Eh. Sometimes I try to. They, they connect in my mind, but then when they come out of my mouth, it's like. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what do they take out here? Rimrock, Magda, a little bit of selfless. Ooh. That's gonna be a Rimrock action all day. Do I sack the self? <laughs> okay, easy, I mean, easy decision, right? <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't get people's logic. Like, oh yeah, he's gonna sacrifice the selfless anyways, might as well block the selfless. Why not just block the rim rot? Like, why not though? Am I scared to play my Winota down just like a brute? Oh, absolutely. Am I going to do it? Yes. Yes, I am. Sam, I am. Besides, they spend all their mana countering my Winota. You know, you swing in with Rimrock, gain another mana, maybe drop a little Blade Historian. We'll see. No counter magic? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you counter it with the same card in the top few cards of your deck? Now, if I swing like this, you think they block the Magda? You think they uh, they play a little risque? Now, if we can hit a land on the next turn, we can play down Kenny G and use red mana to give him haste. Oh my goodness, that is lethal, by the way. As long as I don't play this Usher. But if I do play the Usher, we do have four mana coming at him on the next turn. Similarly, if I play the Usher, I could potentially just drop a Blade Historian. And bada bing, bada boom, that's lethal as well. So would I rather bet on having a land or them not board wiping me? Yeah. <laughs> what, what are we what are we doing with here? So they they definitely gotta have more interaction. I'm playing down the cheap creature. I'm gonna spread myself out. I like the idea of Kenny. Don't get me wrong. Would love for that to happen. But y'all know me, if I'm counting on a land, if I'm relying on it, rarely does it happen. Now that I spent that mana, do I think we'll hit the land? Yeah, you know, maybe. Maybe. We won't be able to do anything if so. If that's the case. Oh, if they pass it back to me, I'm happy. Uh, I'll take that as a victory, even though we did hit the land and that technically would have been Yield and Kenny G. Um, yeah, that would have been enough mana to play down Kenrith and... Used to one red mana. I think they got a little bit something else up their sleeve. You think this is the kind of person that just plays? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. And if I know you like I think I know you, Zemo, you got a little more... Yeah, okay. All right. So I'm not wrong. <laughs> you are indeed an asshole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just because you've already played three counter magic as well as a bounce spell doesn't make you an asshole. It's this fourth counter spell that actually makes you one. I'm, I'm going for the Winota. I'm just going to try to let it rip. Should I? No, I, I think honestly what we should be doing here is playing down the Magda swinging with Usher. Pay the two mana to create the 1-1 one, one with the Usher. Um, that's my actual opinion on it. But whatever. I'm here to have fun. Because, you know, girls just want to have fun. No, you don't want to do this. You don't want to. Why did you specifically need to tap mana like that? I wonder. I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, no, no. I can't use my pathway. It's uh, it's too powerful. You don't understand. You don't get it. I want to drop Winota again. You know? But surely they would have said GG if that was GG. 
I don't trust you, Zemo. That's the problem. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to force you to face my usher. Face the music of the little lad. Or lass. You know, I'm not sure. You really going to let me do this? You really going to let me do this? <laughs> oh, this is a little anticlimactic. I'm not going to lie. What's well, a little anticlimactic? <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> the one time where dropping a Winota probably would have won me the game is the one time where I do it a little bit late. But they can't swing in, right? They got to have everything on the back end to make sure that I don't swing in and just win. But honestly, even then, as long as I can hit something with Winota, we win, right? Anything. I, I, could, I could hit a cold. I could sneeze on it. Arnie, 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 Arnie. Or I could just hit an Arnie. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Let's go victory! Also, I had a Blade Historian, so that was like super victory for me. And we're just moseying right along. Completely undefeated today. Nice. Alrighty. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video so far. If so, you know, leave a like down below. Comment in the comment section what your favorite part is. And of course, subscribe for more awesome content from yours truly. Till next time.